there are chances that you might have heard or read about the Chandigarh University scandal which happened a couple of months back whereby certain private videos of some of the hostel girls were leaked online. In the course of investigation, it actually came to light that one of the university girls had sent that videos, uh, sent those videos uh, to her boyfriend who eventually leaked them online. Now, it's an unfortunate incident, uh, but it is something which can happen to anyone out there. It could be you, I or any of our friends or relatives. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the legal aspect of such a situation and what is it that you must do if something like this happens to you. So getting started with the legal aspect, uh, when a private act of a person is captured uh, either by the form of, in the form of a video uh, or an image or photograph, uh, then it amounts to the offense of voyeurism. And it is covered under Section 354C of the IPC as well as Section 66E of the IP Act. Now, as far as the punishment is concerned, then the law provides for both imprisonment as well as fine. And uh, both uh, the IP Act as well as the IPC provide both kinds of punishment. Now, there are two aspects to this offense uh, that we must take note of. Uh, the first situation is when you have simply not given your consent to someone to capture your private act. And if someone does that, then it is an offense in itself and there's nothing else that is needed to prove. Second situation, uh, which is probably the case in uh, the Chandigarh University scandal is when you have given your consent, uh, it could be an indirect consent, uh, which usually happens in case of relationships. Uh, we share our private acts in the form of videos or images with our partners, uh, with our uh, husband, boyfriend, friend. And in a way, we have given our consent because we are sharing that act with that person. But we have not given our consent to its further dissemination or distribution to any third person. Now, if your partner does that, uh, then obviously it's an offense and it is covered under the definition of voyeurism. Um, now, if something like this happens to you or to anyone that you know, then first and foremost, you must get your complaint registered with the cyber cell and you can do this online. Secondly, you must approach the nearest uh, police station and get an FIR registered in this regard as soon as possible.